Hi, I just wanted to show you a really quick recipe because I was looking at the ingredients list of taco seasoning the other day and there was 13 ingredients in it and there was all sorts of things that I didn't know what they were so I'm assuming you don't know what they are either um, and I make my own and it's really really simple um, and I could almost guarantee you that it tastes better than that packet of numbers and concoctions that you get and there is you know, one two three four five ingredients not 13 so this is it before I oh that looks messy that side this is it before I um, shake it and mix it up so in the bottom I've got a heaped teaspoon of corn flour I've got three tablespoons of cumin three tablespoons of oregano three tablespoons of smoky paprika and I've got one tablespoon of chili of which of course you can adjust to be as little or as much as you like or it could actually exclude the chili altogether and it wouldn't really change the flavor too much so I just um, will give that a good shake up so it's all mixed together um, and then I will just leave it in my pantry and we'll use it to season my taco mix next time I make burritos or tacos or anything Mexican really. I could use it as a rub um, on top of some meat if I was going to have a Mexican sort of pull apart something. Um, so all I do with this mix is saute some onion and some garlic in a pan in some olive oil, add a couple of tablespoons of this mix into the pan while the oil is nice and bubbly and hot so it kind of um, cooks the spices a little bit then I add my meat and then I add a tin of tomatoes and just let it cook away and that's it if I'm trying to get some more veggies into the kids I will add some carrot probably some celery um, probably some spinach those kinds of things which really don't change the um, the flavor that much just sort of bulk it out a little bit it's also great with a tin of black beans or kidney beans in it as well cool so there you go enjoy